Okay, there we go. Hello. New game. Oh, I should have probably turned the volume down a bit. Oh well. <laughs> Fix it in a moment. I have played some of this. Oh, well, not some of it. Most of it. I... Okay, all of it. I did finish it. <laughs> it's a fun game. I like it. Personally. The graphics are very interesting. This isn't a game review. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Like, it's some review thing for a game. <laughs> I don't think I ever realized there was a button. Somehow. Boom. Hello. Climbing a ladder. Now what is it? It's like, oh no, it's C. Okay. Let me run. There we go. Oh, bye bird. Can I just jump off this whole platform? I forgot. I'm gonna try it. Two. One. Oh, I made it. Nice. Plenty of things. Like that over there. I see that. I see you. Back there. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Let's let's do the actual main quest line here. <laughs> okay. This is always so cozy. Well, kind of cozy. I mean, it's as cozy as I think a desert could probably get. Nothing against desert people. <laughs> people in the desert. I can feel Jody, JD, JD, I'm just gonna pronounce it, JD. JD smiling behind her mask just as now she can feel, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing grim little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amu amused in her eyes. I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Um... And yet, <laughs> I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. <laughs> the movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat, you were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I can feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, how, the, how wonderful the wind felt through my fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I'm overthinking, just watching you tear over the sand. 
Look at him. She can do whatever she wants. JD reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. <laughs> I'm staying. Um, JD's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. Oh God, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of these names, and I'm totally going to butcher them. You'll need to talk with Halal and Dress. That's the only one I can pronounce, aside from the actual Sable. <laughs> Dress should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will have will share something. Well, let's say it's as useful as it is fun. Hmm? Okay. I think I might suspect what JD's saying, but I stay quiet. I look around. Um, okay. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong thing? I ask JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be happy. I'll be glad if you choose to say with the Abexi, but. Truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, as, so long as you're happy. Oh, that's sweet. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessings. So to, don't try try using me as an excuse to come home early, huh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. Hil, 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 al, hil, I don't... I'm sorry. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizo. Sizo? Sizo. I'm gonna botch these names so bad. But you know how he is. <laughs> I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Can I talk with her again? How do I... Oh, okay. I have to use the... Okay. I want to talk... JD greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. It's big glider. <laughs> what was your gliding like? I don't know what a gliding is. Well, no, I do know what a gliding is. Sable does. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It works. What's a gliding? <laughs> there we go. Tell you what. I'll tell you when you get back. I cross my arms and protest. How long you want? I don't want to spoil any surprises. She lowers her voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers. That's all I'll say about that. You should get going. Okay. I'm gonna do everything possible because I'm a completionist and I do that in these games. <laughs> like, a lot. Every time I try to be a massive completionist with this game. You know, post box. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Zero. Have a good day. Okay. You two. Post, post box thing. Can I stand on this tent? Now it's... No, well, no, I can climb it. Uh, but I keep sliding off, so I can't really stand on the... No? Maybe I can. Thank you, Goid. <laughs> I'm not too loud, am I? Now I'm worried I'm too loud instead of too quiet. I turned stuff down, so... Hopefully it's okay. I can stand on this tent. It's red. I like red. Red's great. Red's awesome. Thank you. Good. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm glad the volume's good. Okay. That's that's amazing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> By the way. Now, where there was a little cave. I remember this. It was a cave. Where was it? You. You. Kiddo. Kid. How is it that Saima manages to contain- Saima? Is that how, how, how you say it? I don't know. Manages to contain so much chaos and verve. And that's more f and that, and so small a form. Did I read that word? I don't remember. It's okay. Even now, there's something troublesome being dreamed up behind that mask. I know it. Hey, what's in here? Anyways. Some temple thing. I'm gonna take this. Ooh, red. I was just saying, I like red, and then... Oh my god, red. Oh, well, there's a thing that I can interact with back here. 
Gimme. Atomic caliber. Yes. I how I hate how slow you are at crouching. Oh, what just happened? Did I hit X? I hit X. Okay. What even does X? I don't know what this does. It's fine. It's a camera. I don't think you fight in this. I don't know. No, you don't fight. Yeah, okay, it says nothing different. I just figured why not. What's up here? Is there literally anything of interest? Well, this is that. Ooh, this is gonna be a hassle. There's something all the way over there. There's a red glowing thing somewhere over there. Um, there's something over. Oh, I'm running into a rock. That's the temple, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's that over there. And there's the rest of the village. Yes, yes, it is amazing. I quite like it. It's very. Oh, there's that too. It's a very unique art style. And I like it. Humming. Hello? Hello? Ooh. Okay, well, there's only one thing I can interact with in here. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking fl light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Um, push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording, it's barely, barely audible. Stop messing, messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Raymond. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old mechanist told us holds up. If not, there'll be heck to pay. Okay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay. When I pull this orange thing, pull that lever. No, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Raymond. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before snapping sound. <laughs> oh, on Mohana's mask. Not that hard, you've torn it out. Suddenly the speakers are filled with sta static and a low rumble that gradually, gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked, we're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that? Raymond? Let me check the mechanist's notes. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still incre increasing in pitch. Raymond? That lever, Toma, the one you just ripped out. We're going to fast. We're going to crash. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to. The recording cuts off there. Ooh. Ow. That's got up. Okay. Yeah, there's lore. Cutscene. Oh, and the kid. Are you looking for a calibrator? No, I'm exploring. There's a bike. Very sweetly, I ask Simon if she meant the calibrator I found in the cave underneath the camp. Gee whiz, I... <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm pretty sure they did, but maybe they didn't. I don't know. She doesn't look happy with me, which I take to mean I've done something right. Hello? Why is there a bike over here? Hey, come back! Why are you running away? Hey. Saima so shrieks when she sees the calibrator in my hand, then, and then bursts into tears under her mask. Are you okay? You'll leave. You'll leave on the gliding and you'll never come back. Just like Yara did. Don't you miss her too? You were her friend before she left. Um. All three of these? <laughs> Can I not say all three of these? I tell Saima that Yara is allowed to do whatever she likes and that if it's her choice to go, then we must respect it. I wonder if she can tell I'm putting a little extra weight in my voice, which I hope sounds like, like the wisdom of age. You wouldn't leave forever, right? Not forever, no. I start to speak, but Saima cuts me off with a wail. Please don't go! I tell Simon not to worry, that I will be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she pouts behind him, behind the mask. 
And I add that if I am not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding by then and she can come bother me herself. <laughs> Pretty much. Promise? Yes. I say yes. Okay, good. And I can suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Okay. There we go. We're at peace. What is- I want to write this- whatever this is. She's just running around over there, I see her. Climbing a rock. How are you so tired already? Hmm, I wanna see that. I wanna look at that. Dang it, I'm out of stamina. Okay. Well, can I climb that with this much stamina? I can try. I get ju I jump to get extra height. It helps a lot. Otherwise, I don't think I'd make it sometimes. <gasps> Chum! 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 I love these guys. They're amazing. I got a chum egg. Yes. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground, perfectly smooth as hard and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to flow with how light they are. They mu there must be a good place to deliver these. I know. Oh my god. I love chums. Chums are amazing. Pink worm. Pink flying worm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm supposed to get a bite, aren't I? Yes, I am. Oh my god, I'm so far. <laughs> I'm glad you get a bike. This would be insane to be running around this distance. Be exhausting. Especially with the stamina. Okay, she's literally just running around all over there. Okay. <laughs> because the bikes fly, good. You know, when I feel, whenever I hear like the person, what's what's her name? JD? Is that her name? It's nighttime already. It's the next day. Um, no, it's not the next day yet. But like, I think JD, whenever JD mentioned bikes, um, I always thought like bicycles. <laughs> That's not what they are. That's not what they are at all. Though I, I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to dress. This is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful. It has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? My legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Just turns with a bit of a start. Sabo! Uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, it was JD, okay. Hello, how are you today? I asked just how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen in the woods. Spill up. I asked just if he might sort of possibly have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes! Right, of course. Of course, right. Yes, your bike. That, that I was meant to... That I prepared for you because today's your... Gliding, yes. Just nods along with me. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you. In a well... It's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial. Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it, and I and find I've never heard that part of the gliding, but this dress does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Which bike? There's no bike. Just gestures to the sand cutters at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. A test. How will you ever ride your own bike if you haven't tested your riding skills? Come on, Sable, it's part of it. He laughs weakly. It's not convincing. Now, ride, that, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice, my young glider. Don't fall off. 
Well, I think the bike was all the way over there. And you're not riding. Okay. Yeah, let's hit with that. Come back after you drive the sand cutter through the way. Okay, fine. I need to go get it. Ride the sand cutter. It's definitely not a test. No, no, it's not. Ooh. Hello? I'm exhausted for some reason, even though I've lived here my whole life and I'd think that I'd have more stamina than this, but it's okay. Hmm. I'm gonna climb up here. Come here. Up. Up we go. Um. Can I climb that rock? Kind of has an overhang to it. I'm gonna try. I can climb. I might not make that. Uh, barely made that. Oh my god. Okay, where was that other thing? Uh, where was the person? Um, there. Right there. You. Chum! Grab it. Okay, there we go. And then, um, I guess I go like this. Up. Dang it, okay, that didn't work. Uh, I'll just time it, whatever. Oh, that was easier. <laughs> I got another chum egg. Yay! Chums are awesome, and I love them. I'm gonna hop in through the window, because I can. Hello! Yes, it is awesome. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've, been, I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal's hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not barred from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my, hand, my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. I didn't bring anything for you. Sable gives Halal gives a tinkling laugh. Oh, Sable, you can make up for it when you return someday. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? Tell Halal that I feel. Um. Fuzzy. I like fuzzy. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite close. <laughs> Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now, it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the ca- Oh, no. Ugh. You'll be able to activate it there. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate the good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. Did you not go on a gliding or something? Oh my god, they have a prosthetic! Yeah, kind of, yeah. Head over to the temple, Sable. I promise it'll be worth the trip. Look at that. They have a prosthetic. I didn't realize they had a prosthetic. I've played this game. This is like the fourth run-through of this game that I've at least started. And I somehow never figured that they have a prosthetic. <laughs> it's midnight. Oh my god, the sky! Oh, I like that. <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you can get different masks. Which I'm definitely gonna do. And I have a very specific mask in mind that I really like. <laughs> Why is the bike all the way over here? I think this is a bug. I think it's a bit bugged. Okay, sand cutter. I don't know your name, but let's try and work with each other here, okay? I know I don't know you that well, but just work with me. Okay, you're doing good. Good. Boom! I should speak the dress, yes. Evidently. 
I don't know why your bike was all the way by the ship, but it was. I should probably fix the. Oh. Okay, um. Let's park it like right there. There you go. Good sand cutter. I returned to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Is that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine, okay? Dress, is the bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by hello? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter? That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? halal has got something to show you, too, after you help out with more of that uh, mobility you have to. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss for <laughs> very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for hello. Okay. I don't know his dude names. I don't know how to pronounce names. This asks me a series of extreme, ex I don't know why I couldn't read that. Increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Okay. Um, do I need this bike again? Let's see, what do I need to do? Yeah. Okay. Okay, sand cutter, work with me. I'm not gonna allow you for very long, but just work with me. Showed this like archway over here, so. There it is, I see it. There's a boat. Why is there a boat? I don't think it'll set on fire, Goid. Is there a chum in this boat? No, but there's a chest. I forgot what. Did I not get that? Oh, no, 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 I got that, I got the die. I got that die, okay. I'm sure there's more chums here. I don't know, is it? I don't think it is. This bike is kind of slow, but that's okay. How do I get around here? Okay, I need to go back. I want a faster bike. I like speed. Not that you're not good bike, don't worry. You're a very great sand cutter. Thank you for letting me ride you. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna call you Sandcutter because I don't know your name. I hope that's okay. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. I just did a flip <laughs> or something. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Spin? 12? Yes, it is key. Kind of. I did something. I don't know what. It's fine. Is there any more chums? I want more chums. Hey, a balloon! Yes, it did look fun. I like doing tricks. There's a balloon. This way, this way, this way. Hello? Oh, I can I? I don't know if I can. Um, sure, I'll try. <laughs> There's your kite wheel. <laughs> No, I know, but I like turns. Oh, no, I don't. No, 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 I like speed. There's your kite wheel, God. There's your kite wheel. Okay, um. <laughs> okay, this isn't gonna work, sand cutter. I'm so sorry. I need to leave you there. Yeah, I'd assume drifting is hard. Now the only problem with this is that if you don't, don't jump correctly, then you slide and that wastes your stamina. <laughs> eh, there we go. Up. What is that? Uh. Um, 
butterfly astronaut gargoyle. Okay. No, I know this is a spacesuit, I think. Is this a spacesuit? I don't know. I kind of recognize it. I don't recognize the wings at all. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this, this is at all. Ooh, that's not good. Oh! Okay, I fell. Ow. How did I not get hit by anything? Oh my god. Um, hello? I'm not good with insects, okay? All I know is spiders are arachnids and that's it. Oh, this isn't weird. Hello. I'm not too interested in bugs, but I guess they're cool. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Exhilarated? Or maybe it feels right? Uh, exhilarate? I don't know. This seems weird. Um. No, it's not. No, totally not. Um. Sure, I'm excited. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know my soul. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Um. Do you want this gliding stone? I have a gliding stone. Do you want it? Take it, I guess. Go for it. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Oh. The fog cleared up. I like the red. That's a nice red. Reddish pink. Oh, I'm floating. 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 <laughs> I'm floating. Eh, there's a bubble. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Hello, am I okay? I didn't just pass out for the night, did I? <sighs> okay, bye. <laughs> bye. How does this temple go back to normal? Does it just drop when I get off the thing. How long was I out? I'm scared. I wasn't just out for the whole night, was I? I should have checked the time before. Oh, okay. Is it morning now? Oh my god. Wee. I can fly now. Show it. If I just climb, jump. There we go. Please, nothing fall. Please, nothing fall. Please don't fall. Anything. There we go. Lovely. And then run and jump. Boom. I want to fall from the highest place possible. <laughs> Whoosh. Like that. <gasps> Wait, the worm. There's a worm. Where's my... Oh, there's a sand cut it. I'm not going to leave you here. Don't worry. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. It shows how many chums I have. How many chum eggs. This is so much faster than running. Okay, let's bring the sand cutter here. Yes, they are the best. There's a worm. That's all I'm gonna say, there's a worm. And it's amazing. It's 
freaky, but it's awesome. Okay, same thing. Can I... Oh, wait, no, I need to go show the gliding stone. See a ladder. Oh, my stamina doesn't decay with ladders. That's good. Hi. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Um, one of these two, I don't know which. Um, strange? I tell her all that there's something a bit disorienting about it and that I haven't quite understood how best to use it yet. Well, don't worry about that. There's plenty of times and before long you'll be... F you're going to be floating off cliff sides with impu... Pun uh, impunity. Is that good? Trust me, you're going to love it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but they let out a sigh. But the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into, ch heaving myself into chasms. Why can't we all do it? I'll leave myself into chasms for you. I tell hello that I'll throw myself into chasm into a thousand chasms on their behalf and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that that I've got the time to practice as much as I do. It takes a really serious focus. It all laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if there were all gains and no loss, hmm? I, th I think about that, but decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, and my childhood. Yes, it is nice. They have a prosthetic. I don't know how I never knew this, <laughs> knew, knew this before this playthrough. <laughs> I never noticed that they had a prosthetic. I like the mask. I like the horns. There's me with my tiny horns. Goat horns. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help, and tell them that I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures towards the tower. It seems Caesar wishes to see me before I leave the clan. I hope I spelled that right. Not spelled, said... Yeah. This is like the fourth session. Um, big glider. I'm a big glider. Yeah. Tell JD I'm actually a big glider. She laughs. You're right. You are. Sable. Noted adulthood and big... Noted adult and big glider. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you. It's so strange getting called that. I tell Grady... I tell Grady... JD, how strange it is being called Glider instead of Sable or even Clan Child. The first like 30 minutes of this is just gonna be me going through the first part of this game. No, I'm almost done, I'm sure. It's, okay, I told JD, has, yeah. Call, being called Glider instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just, try, just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it too. My little Glider. Aww. That's sweet though. Tell me that's not sweet. Um, hi, person. Oh, God. That doesn't look good. What are you staring at? As she looks across the landscape, Zeke's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Uh, you're a scrapper person, aren't you? Something on your mind? Zeke's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's a lawyer over there. What? I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance. Which I now understand is her daughter, Hilaria. 
Do you want me to get her back? Sneaky shakes her head. No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. <laughs> I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Yeah. I want... Ziki looks concerned. Elia, how did you even get up there? That little... Children have no fear. <laughs> no, they don't. Clearly they don't. Okay. I want to... What do I want to do? I want to climb. That's a bird. That's a bird. Oh. Oh, that's the person. That's the kid. Hey! Your mom wants you. What's over there? I'm gonna go explore there in a minute. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. I want to be a Kino Grammar too. <laughs> Are you the okay. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, ch child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? It's bigger than I thought. I tried to explain that when I saw the balloon, I thought it was very small and somewhat far away. But now I see it's quite large and was very far away. I fumble through the explanation, though, and the cartographer just nods without saying anything. I nod back. Well, good to meet you, and- Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. I told the- Yeah. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price to a ma map. A fair price to a map. For, for a map. Uh, but too expensive for my pre-glider glider with empty pockets. For a, for a pre-glider with empty pockets. Pre okay. Too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. There. <laughs> I told Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask JD for some money. Farewell, child. Hello. Well, not hello. Goodbye. I see something over there. I see another ship. What's over there? Something over there, and there's another thing over there, and there's something over there. Oh my god, I see a chum over there. Okay, awesome. There we go. Climb. Excuse me, birds. Some leaves. Some more leaves. Ooh! I see something moving. Whoa, bug. Come back! Oh, I got mad. Or something. What do I... I can interact with these, right? I thought. How do I... What are these? I want a bug. I want bugs. Aw. Um... What do I do? Oh, Do I need to throw something? Are there any chums up there? Do you think there's chums up on this? I don't know if I can climb that. So maybe there aren't any chums. Got it! Yeah! Got it! I got bugs! Yellow beetle elephants. No, yellow elephant beetles. Throw that. I just need to figure out how to climb this then. How do I climb that? 
Imagine I climb all the way up there and there's absolutely nothing. Probably gonna happen. A lot. Oh, okay. Um. Eh. I want up this tree. Uh, there's a chum. How come I can't latch onto this thing? I'm gonna fall. Ah, I like that. No, okay, how do I get up there? Because I want that chum. Oh, up there, and then maybe I climb the leaves? Yeah. I go up here, and then I climb up the leaves, maybe. I can't. Won't let me. There we go. Yes. Got it. And then, um, I climb up here. Somehow. Eh. No, I don't want to fall. Got it. No. Nope, I didn't get it. Nope. I had it, but then I lost it. <laughs> Why won't this work? Ah. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Why won't you latch, Sable? Sable! Yes, parkour, and it won't work for some reason. Okay. Lovely. Come on. Thank you. I had it for like one moment, and then I lost it. Oh, for the love of God! There. There. Yes, yes, okay. Almost there. I see you, chum. I'm coming for the egg, okay? Oh. Not come back. Okay, back over here. And like this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, that's... No! Why? Why? What is happening? What the heck? What was that? Oh! You like the fruit. Okay, that's what that was. I was thinking there was like hedgehogs or something down there. I got really confused. I lost all my progress, I just realized. <laughs> okay, there. Yes. Lovely. No. 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 Just let me onto the beam. And then up there. And then off the love of God. What even is this the remnants of? Not really remnants, but like villains. There! Got it. Yes, hello chum. Oh, there we go. Boom. Finally. Okay. Well, I got some yellow- I got some yellow elephant beetles. And there was a chum over there. I see something blue. Is that just a plant? I'm pretty sure that's just a plant. Yeah, it's just a plant. But there is a chum over here. Running around, getting chums. Yes! Parkour. Hard parkour. <laughs> Very hard parkour. Chum 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 Here we go. Yes. It is always worth it for a chum. At least to me.
Oh, I thought that was something of interest. Nope, it's just a broken crate. Exploring. Just speak to get JD to get some cuts. Okay. What's in here? Ooh, I got more cuts. Whatever this is. Whoa! I guess there was probably water down here somewhere at some time. And this was something for a water. That is no longer here. Water no longer exists here. In this area. Um, can I make that? Yeah, I can make that. There we go. Wasn't there something up here somewhere or something? Awkward. I have no idea. I thought there was something up here somewhere. Nope. Nothing. Maybe on the other side there's something. There could be. Yeah, right there. I can't climb it. How do I get up there? Hmm. Can I make that? Yeah. Climb, Sable. Climb. Yes, yes, yes. And a chum. Yes, take the egg. Thank you. I got more cuts. I don't know what's over there, but I'm gonna go look in a bit. <laughs> Probably not absolutely nothing, but you know. Over there, I think it's just a ladder. Yeah, it's just the ladder. Hmm. Bunch of machinery. Machine. Is there? That in there. There we go. Awesome. Door open. Door open. It's like that, um, parcels map that Pat and Jen played. It's like that. Atomic control panel. Okay. Cool. Is that it? Kind of boring if that's it. Come on, that can't be it. I guess it is it. Okay. see ships up there. <laughs> I do not need to crouch. Awesome. Well, there's the ship. Or a ship, at least. See if I can get up here or not. Broken boat. Okay, well, um. Nope, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh my god. Okay. Just like, let me climb. Chum! Chum in the shade. Chum hanging out in the shade. What time is it in this? It's midnight again. 
there's something. I don't know what, but there's something. Yes, chum. I don't know if those are crows or ravens. Those birds. They're both. <laughs> there. Maybe if I can... Oh, a raven. What? Okay. Get away, birds. Oh, more credits. Not credits, cuts. I've been playing Warframe too much. We. Eh. I love having a microphone. First official stream with a microphone. No, oh, I keep yawning. <laughs> I don't know, they're like up to a knee. <laughs> tired and go up the thing. I'm not gonna make that. Oh, never mind. I am gonna make that. What do I need to do? JD to get cuts. Either way, I need to do this. Oh no, and Cecil has a task. Okay. And that towered. I should have bought my bike. I want my bike. The sand cutter. <laughs> A lovely sand cutter. Whoosh. Slow whoosh, but still whoosh. I want a bike. Again. That's fine. Hopefully I get a bike. Sand cutter? You mean the sand cutter bike? I don't know, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. I think I gave it back to dress. <laughs> I tell JD that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. Oh, that's nice. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by, by it. I like JD! I like- I thanked JD effusely and head out on my way. I got 200 cuts from that. Oh my god. JD's amazing. Um... 
Yeah, but no, I gave I gave the sand cutter back to dress. What was that? Thud thud. Oh, that might be the bird wings. That balloon looks small again. Caesar was an out clanner to the Abexi, but I've known her for as nearly for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of more and think of her more as a distant as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Mechanists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go where they are needed. But Caesar has been among us so long that it's easy to forget in its assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Abexi are quite insular. In in insular. Uh, it's fine. Or that our designation of Abexi versus Outclaners suggests some nervousness. Some nervous othering of those who are unlike, unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cezo did. C Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike! Cezo has a throaty quality to her voice and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's a quite serious person most days and I'm always... And I... And I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, JD told me how excited you were. Cezo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I had meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss for his forgetfulness. When I were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm gonna make my own hover bike. I asked Caesar if I'm expected to make my own hover bike. No, you aren't going to make your hover bike. You're going to build your own hover bike. Eh, uh, what's the difference? To make suggests you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Thank you! You didn't get annoyed with me for asking clarification. <laughs> Here, take this. Cezo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Cezo where I might start looking. Our bikes are, re are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good spot start would be the ship down there near the camp. Okay, I did that. I'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. Okay, I didn't do that. Another behind the old dam on the hill. Use a navigator to mark that down if you need you gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. Do most gliders make their own bikes? I ask if Caesar. Yeah. Only the lucky ones. I tell Caesar I'll, I'll see you soon. And head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. Over there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, kinda like that. Kinda like that with the warranty, I guess, a little bit. I don't know. Maybe like that. Maybe. 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 <laughs> could you hear me whisper still? I'm curious. How did that, how well did that pick up? Awesome. Awesome. Yay. I like this mic. It was only... There you go. What, what would even be considered a kite wheel? Would it, would it be like a roll or something? Would I need to like roll on my side? Or would I just need to do a flip? I don't... Would I need to do both? Okay. Lawsuit against me for what? Yeah, but like, what would be considered a kite wheel? That's the that's a chum. What would be considered a kite wheel with the with the bike? Also, who's it remind you of, and what are you filing a lawsuit against me for? <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make that. Nope, didn't make that. Okay, I'll just slide over there. It's fine. Come here, sand cutter. What are you filing a lawsuit against me for? Where do I go? Oh, up there. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Food. How did I make that? No, I didn't make that. I almost made it though. There we go. Oh. What's even over here? Is there anything? Anything of interest. Nothing of interest. <laughs> Boom. Oh, was there something down there? I don't think so. No, it's just... There we go, yes. Almost. Slowly climbing. But still climbing, at least. <laughs> I know. Like, how do you jump this high? Leg strength, I guess? I have no idea. Why are these pillars floating? <laughs> Running up the stairs. Nice, I made it. Here. That. Twenty more cuts. Hello, I hear wind. Why are you clearing your throat so much? But yeah, it seems like it. Jump through a window. Whoa. Oh no. I don't need to do things down there, do I? What is this? Oh, I got a power supply. Okay, that's the power supply. Good. What is happening? There we go. Oh, I can go even slower. No, I don't want to do that. Well. What's even down here? Wait a minute, the chum. Wait, no, the chum. The chum. How did I forget the chum? Boo. Oh, okay, hello. Give me, like, one moment here. Hang on for just a minute. There we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm probably not going to be on for long, but, um... Okay. I just wanted to say hi. Hello. You've made an appearance in, like, all my streams. <laughs> yes. I'm going to keep that streak up. Okay, go for it. Pop. Chums. I wanted to see what was up there, but I guess I can't. Oh well. You Probably know, in in a distant past life of mine, I think I was a chum. <laughs> Chums are cool. They fly. They're yeah. flying winged. They're flying worms. And they're pink. They're flying worms. They're so cute. And they're pink. And they lay eggs. Most importantly, they're pink. They fly. 
You should... Okay. No, 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 I won't. No. No. Yes, they are adorable. You're gonna have to watch <laughs> to find out what I'm gonna say. Light red? I thought they look, they look pink to me. What do you mean okay. light red? Tree, light red. Now, here, here's a linguistics thing. Pink is, by the books, a light red. But we don't fully classify light red as a pink. It's a specific kind of warmth and light cool, red to just me perfectly mixed together light red to, to me is the like this crisp like, pink like that i envision like light red is light like light red is very differently oh you're like saying this. light red to bother me well guess light what? red is like the work. color i'm, I'm standing I'm able to talk about colors light red is like the color i'm standing on or like yes. maybe this but this is a bit more orange red same for this yes that is a good salmon color I like salmon. The fish. What was I doing again? To eat or... No! I don't eat salmon. I refuse to eat salmon. No, I used to release these salmon eggs when I was younger. And I don't eat salmon now because I have an attachment to salmon. <laughs> as ridiculous as it is, I stand by it. That reminds me. My cousin was apparently a vegetarian starting as like a five-year-old because oh. she figured out where the meat came from uh. and she is now completely vegan oh okay i'm shocked i <laughs> also refuse to eat cheese on my tacos <laughs> <laughs> silence <laughs> the absolute silence okay i return to see so with Not the poison it's, it's a and it says if she waves me over and it's as she waves me over that that i feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. I don't oh, like... tree, tree. Tree is asking about the I don't, I just, I just don't. I just don't like cheese on my taco, okay? <laughs> I like beef and lettuce and a taco shell and that's all I want on my taco. Uh -huh. Don't go into a state of shock over it because it's not a big deal it's a food preference it's a food preference it doesn't need to be that big of a deal okay thank you uh -huh. <laughs> yes fair enough thank you i just it's like people don't like things yeah. people do like certain things and they're probably kind of weird to other people and some people don't like certain things and that's also probably weird to some people sorry chat i don't care S sorry I, I i started this <laughs> <laughs> is there even anybody else other than you two no, I don't think there is. Um, I'm not sure. I'm still calling it chat because <laughs> I refuse to recognize Tree as a real person. It's not real. A figment of my imagination. I was thinking for a follower slash subscriber nickname, I could do Petals. If I ever got oh, to the that's point. that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. You don't like chocolate. I don't judge you for that. If you don't like chocolate, you don't like chocolate. I don't care. I just won't give you chocolate. <laughs> But no, I was thinking if I ever did get to the point where I started calling, call, calling, 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 um, people followers or like the followers or subscribers or whatever, because people have nicknames for them. I was thinking petals, like rose petals, rose and petals, yeah. rose, roses petals. I love that. You know. <laughs> you could also go full on white diamond Steven Universe and call call them Starlight. <laughs> That'd be something, yeah. One of the two. But I'm not Good even... Good morning, Starlight. I'm not, I'm not there yet, no. I'm not at the point where I'm going to be nicknaming followers because I don't... <laughs> no, I'm not there yet. Not at all. I'm not, I'm not that size. Me, personally, I would have called a fan base Pookies. Of course. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Okay. Are you my able to... Schnookums, my my poopsikins. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Yes, hopefully one day. I'm ready. I want my bike. Not hopefully, definitely one day. <sighs> well, it's not like it's just a given. It's gonna take a lot of work and effort, and it's gonna... Yes. 
And I know you're going to succeed, and that's why I say definitely. I hope I am. It's not like it's just a given thing. I need to work at it, and it's going to take a while, and I need to keep going with it and be consistent enough. And It's not like yes. it's just you stream, and then you magically get thousands of followers. I mean, some people that happens with, but most people, no. Not at all, no. <laughs> it takes, it like, a few years <laughs> at best. Okay. Yes, consistency, which hopefully I'll be able to do, even with school. I'm thinking Saturday, so it could be a good day to stream, or whenever I feel like it on weekdays. Yeah. Yeah, um, Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid, rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one truly appreciates when Caesar is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all mechanics. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They've always belonged to her. Okay. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has always been. From or already been, sorry. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets unheard by those who are unequipped to listen. We'll find this one's name together. Awesome. Side note, yeah, I find it, I I find it very commendable that you are able to read that out loud without stuttering or sounding like a robot, because I cannot do that. Even when I'm not reading something, I end up sounding like a robot a lot of the time, like right now. Yes, I do try. I just I try to not stutter. It's a bit hard sometimes because I don't. I need to like now, but. <laughs> I don't know if it's stuttering exactly, but I kind of trip over my words to a certain degree. Me too. My degree is probably more than yours, though. <laughs> I do attempt to do this way. There we go. Yeah. I got the bike, I think. Ooh, now I can start that. Awesome. What does CISO have to say here? Oh, okay, it's just the same text, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay. That's okay. You don't need to pay attention to it. Boom. You stammer a lot, tree. Bike. You stammer when you get excited, tree. Ships of old speak to season. Look at that. That's my bike. Is that it? It's my bike. It looks front heavy. Listen. Caesar tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to... Simone! All at once I know the hoverbike's name. Simone. I, I say in a whisper to let Caesar, Caesar know. Simone. C-moon. Well done, Caesar. I hope I'm saying that right. Does she want to go? She does, clan channel. Simone has a wandering spirit, like you, I think. I tell Simone that I'm eager to know her better, and Caesar looks quite proudly at the both of us. We're ready then for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, for Caesar was prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must listen. You must learn to listen to Simone, to care for her. Seek out my fe fellow mechanists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a mechanist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Caesar twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready. I'm not ready. Oh, she looks busy and I should leave it here. Okay. I get my bike, don't I? Right? Get my bike. I hope I so. still think you should get a Ford F-150. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, dude. I don't know what you're saying, Tweet. Hello, quotes from an obscure- from a selection of obscure and lyrically Mediocre, Ibexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. So there's a great verse that says much about our folk. Buried under sand. Okay. Well, yeah, I figured that, but I didn't understand. He said, LMG, like, like, with a. No, I, I read it. I read it. No, I read it. You don't need to read it out. With a. Good. Stammer, good. Bang, bang, crush. good, good, you don't need to read it. You don't need to read it. I got it. I could read. <laughs> I can read it. But I, I just, I don't, I don't get... get it either. Uh, yeah. I know what it means. I know, I know the words. I know those words. And I get that they were song lyrics. But I don't get it either. 
Oh, I need to buy the yeah. map. I forgot to buy the map. How did I not buy the map? Crap, I can't. No. No, I'm buying it. I'm not a thief. Not yet. Not ever. <laughs> no, I'm not stealing something. Okay, yeah. Tell that to the police, too. That's a good plan. I don't think there are police, and I'm not gonna steal something. And you can watch me. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'll get I'm gonna get through the whole game without stealing anything. Uh -huh. I am! Why don't you believe me? When I go gliding, I'm going to be a climber. No, no, I believe you. I just, you know. No, you don't. I don't know either. I believe you. No, you don't. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map, please. Perfect, let's trade them. I believe you. I just don't approve of it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Join the family lineage of... No. Dealing. I thank Jordan for the Ewa map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it for feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I asked how it was. Sure. I knew since I was a boy right. that cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. What were you saying? Um, I'm gonna leave before I start making weird noises. Okay. Bye-bye. Toodles. Bye. Toodles. Bye. Toodles. Bye. Please. No. <laughs> Toodles. Bye. It's not okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. Okay, here we go. Um, I finished. <laughs> finished that. What do you mean menagerie? What menagerie? Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there. And they'll have more maps to sell from you, from Heoka to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Okay. Map. Map. Ooh. Ooh, I can fast travel to an area. How do I do that? Ooh. Hello? Oh, my bike comes with me. Yes, okay. Oh, okay. I return to JD with a new lightness, and it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Caesar gave it to me. I tell JD that Caesar gave me the badge. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for, you'll be headed for the mask caster in no time. I try to think about going to the mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. What do you mean forever? Why forever? Why can't you change? I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got all three alike, you can trade it you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. I'm getting all of them. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. What do I do with all the other masks? How will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out, but when you know, you'll know. Now. The tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. Okay. 
There are many things I wish to convey to JD here, depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I feel unable, my, I know, bleh, and though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional, traditional Ibexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be sable, clan child of Ibexi. You will simply be sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. Aww. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I'm ready. I'm not! <laughs> Oh, I clicked it again. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Don't they just vanish from the camp? They just leave. Okay, back to the temple. I should head to the temple to begin my gliding. Okay. Climbing. Climbing and running and climbing and running and climbing and running again. Is there anything over here? Just some random boy thing. Broken random boy thing. Hello, mask. Whoa. Yup, okay. Hey. Um, okay. Yup, sure. What do I do? Oh, I go up there. Okay, I need to go up there. Oh my god, I barely made that. Ooh, chest. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna loot everything in this area when I come back at the end, but... 100 cuts! The cache of 100 cuts made from metal harvested from craft shifts. They have holes punched through the middle where rope can be sl slid through. For easy and convenient trans transportation. Cool. Is there anything else in here? It's that gargoyle winged butterfly space suit thing again. Boom. Mass. Whoa. Nobody fixes these places up. I don't know why. I get it's sacred and stuff, but like, fix them? They're so sacred and important, then fix them. Why not fix them? Keep it in shape. I don't know. That's just me. Because eventually it's going to get just unusable. <laughs> so there's the one up there. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Uh, where's the last one? Back there. Bing. Okay, now I cannot move. With this. What is this mask? Are they lower into these? Okay. Cool. It is. It's 
see it. Almost there. Who are you? I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, well, that's an interesting mask. Oh, God. That's not freaky. Okay. I mean, it's cool, but freaky. When did that get there? When did that get there? Okay. Look at look at this. It's so broken. Lighting started. Mask. Blank looking mask worn by all children of the dunes. Most kids customize their fun, but more traditional clans frown on that sort of self-expression. Uh, my older Bexy top and hood a hand me down from Yara. The scratchiness reminds me of home. Comfy sandals for exploring sandy places. Easy to get sand out of, but not the best for climbing. Yes, the masks are cool. This would be cool to make something out of. A mask worn by those in the sand sea made of bones. Made of bone. The, one put, the ones particular to the abexi are made from the skull of a mountain goat. Abexi glider top. The clothing made for abexi children as they go out on their gliding. The, clo the cloak is unmistakably abexi red. Abexi glider trousers. Shady made these. The patterning is unique to the abexi. The fabric seems to have been made at the bone toke station. Cool. There. Yeah, I'm all dressed up. I'm a glider. I love the cloak, though. The cloak is what's cool. I love capes. Capes and stuff are cool on characters. Like, look at that. Look how it flows. I want to make something out of this. I want to make, like, a desert, desert civilization thing with mass. And all that stuff. That'd be fun. Cool outfit, at least, yes. Simone? Why are you so tired? Well, I can't blame you, I can't run five minutes. I mean, not that I'd want to copy the game and stuff, just directly. I'd, ask my, I'd add my own stuff to it, it's just like base idea thing, I guess. It's not like I'd be selling it anywhere either. It'd just be cool to use in like a roleplay thing or story. No profit. No profit at all. I don't want profit. Oh. Okay. Mailbox. No, sorry, post box. Logging in. Hello, Sable. JD's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet it still welcomes me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain lo nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and, run not, and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready. So I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you're not without friends. You're not without family. You're not without love. These things, well, you will always carry with you, as you do your mask. 
And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Yutai. They're the mechanist at Bone Talk Station and among Caesar's closest friends. Yutai is a good contact to, hi to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get a me another mechanist, ba mechanist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the, to the Ewer, so keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. What does my face look like? That's what I want to know. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's an awesome scene. There's the start, then. Why did I go this far? It's like I went this far. I forgot to get my bike. <laughs> that's what the, that's what this is like. Simone, you have red. Okay, Simone. Oh, you're so much smoother. I love this bike. We There I am. I'm still gonna go. Makes this more dramatic, I guess. Come to me, show yes. The way I'm between the wind and parts of the unknown. I do between two I say to see it feels like everything is This is cool. I like the music. Yes. <laughs> I said that at the same time. I looked at the chat and I saw that. It puts more weight to it. Boom. I don't know how to do a flip, Gordon. I could probably do a spin at some point. I could do like half a spin, wait. There, there's your spin, yeah. How's that, how's that? Is that good enough? the controls again for that. Yes, another one. Okay, well, this stuff over here then one over there. How do I do this again? I forgot how to do this. What just happened? Oh. Oh, I could just sit down. How did I set a waypoint again? Oh, that's no, that's not the right thing. Well, what just happened? over there. And what 
gotta go over there. Okay. stars. It's nice. Nice and I want to jump off that. Sliding down a little, but I got it. No. Okay, well. Moon. It's moon, come here. Should I go? What do you guys think I should go? Should I try getting up there again? Or should I go over there? Or should I go to whatever was over here? I saw something. I thought I saw smoke. in the sky in a minute. I want to go on that tower over there. I can ba barely see that. Okay. Sounds good. Probably gonna stop soon. It's almost... Probably will stop soon too. Like half an hour or so. Half an hour or 20 minutes. Somewhere in there. Like probably 20 minutes or something. It's been like almost two hours. I see a balloon. Good night, good. Hmm. I want to go up this thing. There's a chum! Oh my god, chum! You can't see it, but it's there. Nice view. That was the camp. That was N. Okay. Yes, yay. View at least. Hmm. I see something.
Okay, I guess I'm running. All the way to there. Where was the thing? There. Look at that. I see it up there. I see something. Don't know what, but there's something. I think there's like a fishing update and there's a boat near the camp that you can get fishing stuff for. I want to find that. Yeah, I can make that. Uh, maybe I can't. Fine too. <laughs> um, how do I get up here? Oh, I can slide. There we go. I was wondering if that was possible or not. I'm not making this, am I? Maybe I will. Barely. Oh my god, barely. Yes. No. There we go. Okay, how do I get up there? Uh, there's a thunder. Oh, there it is. I guess. Something. I see a chum. Chum. Chum gotten. want to see what's at the top. Come on, grasp something. Okay. Um, maybe I can use this to look. Oops. Is there anything up here? There is a chest. How do I get up here? This is useful for looking around. Oh, there's another chum.
Over this way, I think. It's not cheating. <laughs> it's in the game. I'm just utilizing a feature. gonna stream Minecraft Sunday and stuff because I set up a whole server, whole modded server. <laughs> so hopefully that will go well. Ooh, I got die. I got a sandy bike die thing. Yes, very fun. I like modded Minecraft. See, where was that chum I saw? <laughs> so slow, such a slow camera. Okay, it's on the other side. Oh, there's a chum up there! Not making that, I jumped. There we go. How many chum eggs is that, it should say? It's ten. Start and jump. Yeah, I'm gonna make that. I can make that. <gasps> Boom. Ah. Oh, that's something. Simone won't come to me, but that's okay. I'll walk. I'll just walk. Not exhausting at all. My bike wouldn't come for me, so I don't know why. Won't come when I call. That's okay though. She wants a vest, and she can have a vest. We're both not very used to this. She was just got she just got a form, a build, and I clearly do not exercise much. Other than basic running around and all that. Or well, maybe this is just as far as I can naturally go with my human limits. <laughs> that looks like a boat of some sort. I don't know why there's a boat. It's not like it can. No, it's not like there's water for it to go on, but. Did I have a. Maybe I had a thing here. Yeah, I don't know. If I did have a thing, then now it's gone. Oh, look at that. It floats. Okay. Angler hut. More than once, Simone has slowed over a dune without my asking, or taken an unexpected but gentle curve around an invisible something, and I've wondered if she's drawing a, mem a memory from a time before. But lately I've wondered if she's turning into another different flow altogether, the movements of a, s of a, f a fish as they swim beneath the sands. I approached the angler with this in mind and think how it interesting it must be to, call f to find one calling and fishing and reaching out for things one cannot see. Might even teach me some patience. <laughs> Hello there, Gladu. What can I do for you? What do I want to talk about? I'd like to learn to fish? The angler nods. Can't see the angler mask, eh? Hope you're more patient than some of these gladders. 
I'm working on it. I'm certain he smokes. Mm. Well, either way, the first thing you'll need is a fishing rod, and I'll give you one of my old ones. Good for a trainee. Take this. Basic wooden rod. Thank you. You can use this to cast off anywhere you can find some sand. Anywhere? Anywhere. Whether you get a bite or not will be another matter, but that's the trick of being an angler. Feeling it out. I nod. So if you want to earn the mass, that's how you do it. I'm not here to waste your time if you're not here to waste mine. For your first badge, all I need is some fish from right here in Sansi. Bring me a bellow guppy, a pebble eye, and a pearl fish if we did. And remember, every species has its own habitat, so you'll have to search around where they live. But word to the wise, a lot, lot of fish a lot of fish survive by nibbling on the roots of plants. That should give you that should give you a place to start. I thank him and depart. Good luck out there. That's tea to use your fishing rod. You can use it to catch fish that live beneath the sands. Okay. Is there anything up here? Or is it just kind of meh? Climbing on top of this guy's boat. Distance! I couldn't reach those plants over there, but that's fine. The boat is moving. Ah! Got something. A dopey dart. Found across Sansi, these goofy looking fish are incre uh, inc extremely quick but remarkably unintelligent. A bland but nutritious offering on plates across midden. It has X's for eyes because it's dead. Okay. Fried it out of the sand though. Any tips? Where can I learn more about fish? Simple, you can catch them. Yes. That fishing mechanic looks fun. No, I said learn. Hmm. Catching fish, you have to watch them. You learn how they move. You learn what they want, how they live, how to outthink them. I ask if fish are really that clever. Psh. That's like asking a fish if you're really that clever. Ooh, imagine a talking fish. <laughs> what would it say, you think? You couldn't fathom it. I ask if that's a joke. He looks at me blankly and I explain perhaps fathom was a reference to depth. No, I'm dead serious. If you got into the head of a fish, you can make sense of it to save your life. They're mysteries. Okay. That's why observation is key. I told Yoshi that I'd really like to do more observation, but that I did sort of mean a more conventional means of learning. I hear, le I hear the air leave his nostrils, a breathy laugh. You know what's funny? You remind me of somebody, which I'm sure you get quite a lot, given your whole... He gestures to me and I wait. What is he going to say, given my what? You know, thing. <laughs> Anyhow, you remind me of an old student of mine, Cassie. He laughs. Poor girl couldn't catch a fish to save her life, but the passion. She loved them. Just because she was so keen, I kept, on, I kept her on long enough to try to give her a course in fishing. And even took her on a trip to ca try to catch... Try catching butterflies, see if it might be easier. Was it? No! But what I saw... But I saw she had a real knack for research. That was what she really liked, and I told her, just do that. Last I heard, she was working on getting something set up in the wash, research center or something. Good for her, I say. He nods. Trout. Never see you on your travels. Tell Yoshi, tell her Yoshi says hello. What do I want to talk about? Goodbye. Hmm, where should I fish? I'm going to fish over by those plants, though. Simone the won't come for me, but that's okay. Okay, yeah, get up. Stop sliding. There we go. Give me a fish. Fish, 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 fish. Got a fish, 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 got a fish. I got another dopey doit. Okay. Um. Been about two hours. Um. Okay. Uh. Let me see here. Um, 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 
Um, I'm gonna go to that. No. Well. I'm gonna go. Actually, no. I'm gonna mark that. I'm gonna stop at the hut and hope it hope it um brings Moon over here. I guess. And yeah. Cause my back is starting to hurt a bit. I want to mark that. I want. I won't let me mark it. All the way over there. There we go. Boom. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of. Yeah, I'll stream something tomorrow, and then I'll stream my. Or maybe I'll stream something tomorrow, and then I'll stream Minecraft. Uh. You know. Sunday. And, yeah. Well, there you go. How's that? Oh. She went poof. That's cool. There. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go now. It's almost seven anyways. I'm getting tense. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, good night, whatever it is. Um, yeah, bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Thank you.